So we've seen these before. Comparison operators and logical operators. So let's ask, is 8 less than 6? And of course, it's not, so we're going to see false. Now, is 8 equal to 6? That, again, is false. Is 8 greater than or equal to 6? Sure enough, that's true. Now, is 8 not equal to 6? Well, that's true as well. So those are pretty straightforward. Now, what happens when we maybe ask a more complex question? Is 8 not equal to 6 and is 5 equal to 5? Okay, so 8 is not equal to 6 and 5 is equal to 5. Both of these are true. 8 not, not equal to 6, 5 equals to 5, and requires that whatever's on the left and right of it be true. Now let's ask a different question. Is 5 equal to 3? Let's just prove to ourselves that that's not true. Okay, so 5 is not equal to 3, and even though 8 is not equal to 6, even though this is true, the right side is false, and so the AND is going to evaluate to false. Now what if we say OR? 8 not equal to 6? Well, that's going to evaluate to true. 5 equal to 3? Well, that's going to evaluate to false. So we've got true or false, and that's going to give us true. And to say this more explicitly, true or false is going to give us true. Also, false or true will give us true, right? So it doesn't matter which side that's on. It's going to give us true. And, you know, we've got a list of these below. You know, false or false will return false. So we can almost think of this as being the only way that or will return false is if it's false or false. And the only way that and will return true is, is if it's true and true.